That is so quick. I've just broken the 4,000 km an hour barrier with this car. This thing is so fast, and I made it. And I'm about to teach you how to make your own. So fucking fast. This is even quicker than my Dome Zero. Look at that thing. Oh my god. Look how fast it flies out of the map. This thing's a beast. Ooh, how interesting. <laughs> and straight out of the map over the ocean. Hope you had a nice tour. You want to make something that's really fucking fast? Well, today's your lucky day. I'm going to end this video clip of this Lamborghini here and I'll start showing you how to make it. Okay. Now, the first step in this video is to go and buy a Volkswagen Samba Boss. That's alright, you heard me, Samba Boss. This is the car we're going to use to hack. And how did I make it into a Lamborghini? I just replaced the body with the body of a Lamborghini. So it's basically a Volkswagen Lamborghini pretty much. And the color doesn't matter here because it gets reset when you put the body on top of it. We're using this because this has the suspension that we want. Because we need a suspension that goes up really high. As you saw in the Lamborghini, it's raised really high. So we need a high suspension. And I can't seem to be able to swap a suspension into a car that and make it actually work. Every time I swap suspension, it stops working and glitches up for some reason so I just start with this and swap the body over and it works okay we don't care about that okay now that you have your sample bus first thing you're going to want to do is go into the settings and buy racing soft now after this is very very important I cannot stress that enough that you do this before you hack it because if you do it afterwards it will not work I repeat will not work you gotta go and buy your suspension and you gotta harden up the spring rates and lift it all the way up first you gotta do that first otherwise the suspension will be reset and it'll be like screwed up and you have to rehack the car again and that's not what you want to do because I just had that happen to me a um, couple of minutes ago as I was experimenting and out of that experiment came that Lamborghini that goes 4046 kilometers an hour which is about 300 kilometers an hour faster than my Dome Zero which is very 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 quick Now you can put any body you like on here, I'm pretty sure it should work. Certain car bodies are more aerodynamic than most. Others, like Dome Zero, is the most aerodynamic dynamic body I've found so far. So that's why I used it. Okay. So now we don't do anything else. Do not do anything else. So we've got a sample bus. And we've got to save it. Okay, quit the game. And then all you're going to do is transfer your data back onto your USB. Well, I'm pretty sure I've got mine plugged in at the moment. Yes, okay. 
So we put our data back on the USB. Yep. Yep. Now today we're going to use a combination of two software today. My own software and GT5 Editor 1.6. Okay, back to the computer. Put your USB into the computer now. Okay. I credit this new hacking video to this guy. Obviously you can't read it the, na the name because I don't know that language, but he has helped me with this new tutorial. This engine, it it screws up really bad. It makes million, two million horsepower sometimes, but the torque curves are so bad that it goes down to like one million or two million horsepower to like what hundred thousand horsepower half th th halfway through the gear, making it very useless. So we still use the Red Bull engine, but. We, I thank this guy for giving me the LSD values and the chassis because they do actually allow for much higher horsepowers which I've got them in here okay so first thing is you want GT5 editor 1.6 now you can probably get this using a um, quick google search let's see Um, I didn't get it from next gen, I got it from, I don't know, it might be that. I'm pretty sure this is it, actually. Yep, you get it from here. So, download it from that, code leakers, and you just get, um, one of these. Yeah, you get the latest version, 1.6. <laughs> and now, you go and open up the data from your USB. Or flash drive, or however you want to call it. So it's F drive. So you can see I've already got my path here, but I'm going to go and browse. If I even know how to do that on this software. <laughs> how do you even do that? Reset, what does that do? Wow. Nothing. Select back up, there we go. I don't understand the software. So you just go and select your save game folder. <laughs> yes, this comes up all the time. If your USB or flash drive has a slow read and write speed, um, it, this message will come up. Doesn't matter. You can just click this box again, and it works. So the first thing you want to do is type in Grand for Grand Turismo. You want the Red Bull engine, and then you want your body. See, this is a Samba bus, so we're gonna go and put the Lamborghini um, Countach LP474. What do you want it? and hybrid car yep once we've done that let's minimize all this keep this open because we're going to need it and we're going to my w workshop program I understand how to use this software because I made it okay so if this isn't already filled out which um, it probably will be but the path will probably be wrong so first, like to load data right now. Um, just type in a random path, and it'll probably go like it'll come up with GT5 file not found. But that doesn't matter. So you just click load, and you just go store and go, which is my USB name. Save data, and you browse for the GT5 file, and you click that, and there you go. Type your PSN name, capitals, you have to have capitals and everything in there, it has to be perfect. And then, once you've done that, you can click load. Okay, so the first thing you want to do, leave the engine, because it's the Red Bull engine we put on there. You want to make it four-wheel drive, 
by clicking the make four wheel drive button so it changes the drivetrain and the torque split all for you how easy is that you know, visit the chassis that we got from that guy who commented and you want to go and put the LS the limited slip differential on so now you've done that now you can just go in transmission 0 0.1 there you go 0 0.1 0 0.11 0 0.12 and 0 0.13 that's the transmission done and now I'm holding the microphone with one hand so it's a little bit awkward to type okay and for the car I just did I was like 69 and 110 and didn't worry about anything else and then we did that thing that um, distracts the game from the transmission hack. Again, spring rate 255. 255. I'll upload the new version of the workshop in the description. Because on my last video, I did have 2.1 on my last video, but I've updated it again. So it really should be 2.2, but um, I was just lazy and couldn't be bothered changing it so um this should be it save and encrypt take your flash drive or usb out and plug it back into your ps3 and okay okay zoom back in that's good enough run the controller okay now we've got the flash drive back in the um PlayStation. So now we're going to copy our data back and overwrite. Go back into the game. Now the new version of my workshop creates backups. So if you ever do happen to lose your data through corruption, you're safe. Yes, you are finally safe. It creates automatic backups before your data is loaded. So when you click the load data button, it will go and create a backup and then it will go and decrypt your data and load it. So, you're safe. That will be stored in the backups folder. Oh, Plymouth NASCAR, what is he asking me? He probably wants that car. Oh, well, I'll have to send it to him. I'll probably send him this car, considering that um, I've already made one. I'll send him this 4,000 4, kilometer an hour Lamborghini. See how he likes that. Shut up, Plymouth NASCAR. I'll send it to you, don't worry. Only thing he always complains about not being able to drive them. Well, if you want a fast car, you're gonna have to learn how to drive it. Okay, if you go straight to the GC Auto and change the oil. Now it should have like 700,000 horsepower. Yep, 734,000 horsepower. Now you, you say, oh, well, it needs two million. No, it does not. There's not enough grip for two million horsepower to actually, like, properly work. Okay, now I'm just going to make some visual customizations. Now, because we did the downforce hack, we do not want to ever go inside this. If you want to put a spoiler on it, you're going to have to do that. You're going to have to put the spoiler on before you go and hack the car. Now, I don't see the point of having a spoiler. I'm going to make this thing look pimp. Putting some new rims on it. 
Yeah, I'll put those on like I did last time. And now I've painted them pink matte, which I don't want to do this time, I want to do something different. Probably go for silver chrome. So it is chrome. 130 silver chromes. Lol. Plenty of silver chrome. I'll make it a different colour than red. Don't you don't need to do this by the way, you don't need to paint it or anything. It should work without it. But if you just want to double check and like be sure, just change the rims, paint them and change the body colour. It shouldn't matter though, but um yeah, oh well, that's a pretty sick looking Lamborghini. 4,000 kilometers an hour, hell yeah! Can't wait to test this baby out. Well, I've already tested one out, that's pretty fucking sick. Can't wait to test it out online, it'll scare a few people. Okay, now we can go into the settings. Okay, see that torque curve over here? That's what I'm talking about, the torque curves, those. If they go down, if it goes, it starts off really high and then goes straight down to nothing instantly, that's horrible. The way it is now, how it's like, you know, not. it stays pretty high over most of the gear, that's good. So you can check by the um, transmission, you can see that. You can see the ratios of stuck. The final gear doesn't matter. You just want to know that the fourth gear is still at 0 0.1, and third gear is still at 0 0.11, and etc. And you want to check the suspension to see that the ride height is still the same, and the spring rates are still at maximum. And you want to check the downforce. You can see it's still at 69 and 110. And you can see that front rear torque distribution is at 50-50, which is what you want. Now, for this car to go that fast, well hang on, I'll actually show you first. You actually have to tr tweak the suspension to get it to go um, 4,000. You could actually probably make it go quicker, actually by tweaking it because when you drive this thing the front end lifts up so what you want to do is lower the front suspension so that it doesn't lift up as much so it doesn't create much drag so you want it manual you want to take off all traction control I'll show you what I'm, you, I'll show you what I mean by creating a lot of drag So at the moment this will only go 3,200 kilometers an hour without without modifying the suspension, as I found. See, look, look how high the front end is compared to the back. We don't want this. It's reducing our speed by 800 kilometers an hour, and that's not very good. That's a lot of speed that we could be making up. So, we go into our settings. By dropping the front end to zero. We could probably drop it lower, actually. Because even when at zero, it still raises. So, I'm actually going to put it at um, negative 20. And see if I can get like 4,100 kilometers an hour or something around that. It's going to look weird when it's parked. The front's going to be really low, but who cares? It's not about the looks, it's about the speed. Look at that. It's going to accelerate faster as well. Here we go, look at that. Oh, ho, ho, that's quick. That is so quick. And watch it when it goes out the map. 
boom. Oh, I didn't even go out the map that time. Maybe it's because the front is so low, but who knows? Well, let's go and check out the speed by saving the replay. You can only do this in um, speed test. If you don't have speed test, you can't actually go and save the replay and find out the speed by doing this. So you actually have to go and buy a speed test. See if um, dropping the suspension even lower has made it faster. Go into re replays. No, it hasn't. It's actually I've lost about 100 kilometers an hour, but that that's 3,900 kilometers an hour. That's still pretty damn quick. So I'll go in and raise it again a bit. But that is fucking fast. Like that is seriously fast. If you take this on an online server, oh my god, wreak some havoc, I swear. This Lamborghini is just a monster. Okay, let's take this beast out. Should go out the map this time, because it did last time when I had it on these settings. As I sh showed you in the start of the video. That is so epic. Oh, ho, 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 ho. that's so quick. Look, out of the map. That is so good. I love it. That is brilliant. That Lamborghini is amazing. Let's, re let's look at the replay. This is gonna be like so quick, like it'll just be zoom, 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 like the Dome Zero replay. Here we go. Oh my God! Zoom, 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 zoom. Wow, what a replay! <laughs> you can totally see the car. That is so fast. I love it. That's brilliant. So now we're gonna save the replay and check how fast it goes. Should be about 4,000 kilometers an hour. Now, if you have speed test, you can play around with the suspension settings. So, there we go 4,042 kilometers an hour. Now, if that's not fast enough for you, then oh my god. I don't know what is. 4,000 kilometers an hour is fast. Like, is extremely fast. Oh well. This concludes my video. I hope you enjoyed um, the hack tutorial 2.0. 909 mile an hour 2.0 tutorial. And I look forward to seeing a lot more super powered 999 cars flying around GT5 servers within the next couple of weeks well I hope so so you guys better get hacking because I want to see these hacks see you later guys